Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel guys and this is going to be your weekly tarot reading May 30th to uh, <clears throat> April 30th, excuse me, to 6th of May. So the, the first card showing up, the topic of your week, this is going to be the Page of Swords. The second card showing up, the core of the situation, this is going to be the Hierophant. The third card it is showing up the co uh, the the challenges that you need to overcome. This is going to be the Queen of Cups, and the last one it is the guidance that you need to follow. That will be the Three of Wands. So it is a, a very broad reading for what I can say from here, guys. And the topic of the reading <clears throat> or the overall message from the reading is that you will make an attempt to break a certain code of conduct. So it's kind of like a, a routine that you are in right now. You will try to break. It and that routine mostly come from the uh, <clears throat> uh, how how can I say it um, patri uh, yeah it's kind of like a, a person of a <clears throat> person like a patriarch in your um, in your environment such as a um, a mentor or your mother it could be that the Queen of Cups you know is keeping you or holding you too so it's kind of like breaking free reaching a personal freedom you know or doing a something that is entirely your idea and um, <clears throat> you know by doing it so you are a little bit going against you know what uh, it is expected from you but in the same time uh, you are not interfering with anybody else's plan and we do have these couple of cards here which is telling that particular story because the core of the situation is that is the hierophant showing the code of conduit you know that you as a topic of the week uh, the princess or the page of swords as an original thinker is trying to adapt to change you know or to try us <clears throat> into something that will really work out for you that could be for your relationship you know it could be as well for your career just to give you an example in case you are um, you are studying right now or you are about to start studying in a college or um, you know in a university your parents could have an, an idea what you need to study and they want you desperately to become a medical doctor a dentist you know or a lawyer but you are finding out that these, that these kind of um, you know professions are not for you you have your original thinker you want to be a psychotherapist for example you know but your parents doesn't want you to be such so, so for that kind of a code of conduit i'm talking about and uh and a breakthrough as well uh, that could be that you are going against the plan of your boss you know into your career finding that what they want you to do is actually a stupid thing to be done right now and they are asking you to do it because they don't have the full perspective upon the situation etc etc and I would advise you here during this particular week not to try to explain yourself way too much because it is very likely that you will become misunderstood however uh, <clears throat> when the uh, when the situation reach peak uh, reach its peak you know and um, explanations and elaborations are inevitable then it is when you calmly and patiently you know show your arguments um, present why you actually did that thing and they will most likely understand you but right now as you can see the Queen of Cups they are rather more emotional than rational with uh, their judgment about your performance about your work and about your goals in general so the um, <clears throat> the guidance here as we do have the three of wands is the you need to do what you find harmonious with yourself because the tree of wands is um, is complete harmony in between the expectations and the events that occur in in another words if you are not feeling harmonious with what you are asked to then you don't have to do it all right you do have other way around it and by that being said the three of wands in case you do it uh, you do that which is harmonious for you you know then the three of wands promises you that a door is gonna open for you a door uh, <clears throat> which you're gonna trespass sitting on already establishing patterns so this is also a story here telling us that whatever you are after which is a, a fruit of your <clears throat> original thinking you know uh, and independable thoughts if I may say it that way it is actually a, a thing which is um, which is a big deal 
if I may say that way. And uh, it's not only a big deal, but it's also giving you an opportunity to grow because the Tree of Wands is also about taking on additional challenges, you know, improving oneself, exploring into one's knowledge and into one's skills as well. And it is a, a process of a constant improvement here. So uh, <clears throat> this particular reading, guys, tells you that no matter what uh, those who are on the, those uh, which have a wing upon you or they um, kind of like support you right now having an idea for what you need to be you don't have to be that way I mean especially if you are still going along with the code of conduit established by your parents your parents gave you life yeah but it is your life to um, <clears throat> to kind of like use it all right so um <clears throat> make it work make it happen and uh, again i like to say if you don't take care for your own happiness no one else will and if you don't stray for your own goals no one else will so in case instead of trying to please everybody gemini's please yourself for once so that was your tarot reading for the upcoming week, April 30th to May 6th. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.